Hey everybody, today we are putting together the bottom frame of the machine, the x-axis and the y-axis on the machine. So let's get to it. All right, next we're going to attach the column braces. These are 20 by 60 by 1000s. We'll just loosen these up. So we're going to be attaching to the T-slot bracket and both of these bolts. We'll go ahead and tighten the bolts on the Z-stepper mount. Yes, you should tape the rail cars up. Okay, next up is four more T-slot brackets with M5 by 10 bolts, socket cap screws, and T-nuts. We're going to attach the main, the Y rail supports. These two pieces here, 140 mil, 1,040 millimeters long. We'll go ahead and preload all of these T-slot brackets just in the standard middle holes, not the short inside holes. Just like that. Okay, so we'll go ahead and load one in the bottom slot and one in the top slot. First, we're going to tighten these down a bit. Get them lined up right to the very edge. And then we will slide on the Y rail. And then we'll tighten these down. And we'll repeat for the other side. Alrighty, making some progress now. I'm gonna throw on these little rubber feet to help keep it balanced. This Y and stuff plate should actually be put on before the Y rails so that you don't have to undo the bolt to put it in to get this in here. Now we'll do the same thing with the Y end stop plate. Drill with M drill with the number six, M5 by 12 with a washer and T nut. Now we'll take our Y end stop plate and slide it onto the left. Y support rail, the top two slots. All right, now we are going to put on the Y linear rails. So we're going to need the M4 bolts and T-nuts and rails. So we're gonna need 18 more M4 by 14 bolts and M4 T-nuts. Alrighty, slide it on, and the other one. Next is the Y stepper plate. So we're going to drill out the bolt holes with our number six drill. Next we'll pre-drill the four stepper bolt holes with a number 19 drill so that we can tap it M5. Now we'll tap the four bolt holes to an M5. Now for these bolts, we're going to use an M5 by 12, followed by an M5 washer through the hole, and then preload the T-nut. And we will repeat that for all eight bolt holes. Now we'll take the plate and we'll load it onto the column support rails. And we'll make sure that the short side, the close side of the plate, is towards the left side of the machine. Now we'll move on to the Y tension bar. We'll again drill these out for M5 with our number six drill. Now, the same as with the Y stepper plate, we'll use an M5 by 12, an M5 washer, and then a T nut on bottom. 
Now we'll load it onto the column support rails. Now we'll do the same thing with the Y idler. Drill out with the number six, M5 by 12, washer and T-nut in these four holes. Now we'll slide on the Y idler with the pulley side toward the column. Now we'll move on to the last eight T-slot brackets to connect on the front cap. We'll just use M5 by 10s and T-nuts and the normal middle holes like that. So for these T-slot brackets on the front end rail, we're going to put two on each. So we're going to put one here and here, 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 and here, all on the outsides. Now that these brackets are on, we'll slide on the front end rail. Now we'll tighten everything up flush. Next up, we're going to be working on the Y rail adapter plates. So we're going to drill these out for M5 bolts with the number six drill. Make sure that you clean out any burrs that are left in the chamfers for the flathead screws. Okay, so now we are going to put M5 by 14 bolts, I could only find black oxide at Bolt Depot, um, up through the plate, and then T-nuts on top. We'll preload all those, and then we'll be right back. Okay, now that we have the plates all preloaded with the M5 14s and T-nuts, now we're going to use M5 by 20 flathead socket cap screws through the countersink holes and into the rail cars. Before you do though, make sure you wipe down the surface of the rail cars. Now we're going to take the Y belt block, which is the tallest, biggest one, and drill out the two main holes for M5. Next, we'll pre-drill the clamp bolt holes with the number 40 bit so that we can tap them M3. Now we'll tap those six holes M3. Now we'll use a pair of M5 by 30 button head screws for the Y belt clamp and T-nuts on the other end. We're going to have it just like this with the clamp bolts toward the bottom. Now we're going to take our X support rails, 20 by 60 by 500s, and put them through all these T-nuts. Now that we have the X rail supports halfway through, we'll take our Y belt clamp and we will slide it into the bottom of the X rail supports, making sure that the teeth of the belt block are facing the right side of the machine. I'll slide it over all the way through this these two nuts. We'll go ahead and pop on these rubber feet on the front rail with a pair of M5 by 12 socket head bolts and T nuts. We're going to go ahead and slide both of the Y rails all the way down to the end until they hit the T nut to help us in lining up this axis. So I temporarily removed the Y tension bar. So I'm just sliding the cars right to the very end here on either side. So that's perfectly flush. Okay, pretty happy with that. Put our Y tension bar back in. Now we'll go ahead and tighten up all of these bolts. Now that we've got all the bolts tightened on this, we'll go ahead and get the Y rails here centered up. Okay, now that we've got these centered, we'll tighten up all these bolts. So we'll move the car to the one end to align to space these out. 
and we'll cinch that down and we'll move it to the middle do it again and to the end nice now we will move on to the X rails you know the drill wipe it down and 18 M414s and M4 nuts. We'll just tighten up one of these for now till we get our table. Now we're gonna work on the X stepper mount, which will go here. So we're going to need to drill out the M5 bolt holes. Now we'll drill out the stepper bolt holes so that we can tap them M5. Now we'll go ahead and tap those M5. Now we'll draw out this tiny little hole here. This is for the X end stop with our number 40 drill so that we can tap the M3. And we'll tap that to an M3. Now we'll pre-drill the cable chain mounting holes with a number 29 drill for M4 tapping. And we'll go ahead and tap those two holes M4. Okay, now we're ready to mount the X stepper plate. <clears throat> so we're going to use M5 by 8 button heads in these eight holes. And then T nuts on the back, obviously. Okay, now that we got the bolts in, we'll go ahead and slide it in. And we'll just lightly tighten those bolts for now. Okay, we'll move on to the X idler plate. Going to pre drill these for M5 clearance with the number six drill. Same thing here as the X stepper plate using eight millimeter M5 by eight button head screws and T-nuts. Okay, bolts in there, go ahead and slide it in. And we'll just lightly tighten those as well for now. Okay, and while we're here, we might as well mount the Y cable chain bracket. So we'll pre-drill the ends here for M5 clearance and we'll pre-drill the other side for an M4 tap number 29 drill and we'll go ahead and tap that side M4. So we're going to mount on the back side of this plate here so we're going to use M5 by 12 bolts with a washer through there and a T-nut. And this will just slide here in the top slot. And we'll bolt that down. Okay, so here's what we're looking like for day one of the build. Got the whole frame assembled. We have the Z rails, Y rails, and the X rails mounted. And we are looking good. It moves nice and smooth. happy about it okay so that's it for tonight looking good and we'll see you next time bye <laughs>